Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, Merry Christmas. It's uh, Christmas night about 6.30 p.m. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking more about uh, the nutrients I'm giving my plants and what's coming up next and stuff like that. Um, these right here pretty much are my next run. Um, I have Strawberry Delight up in the front, the first three up in the right, uh, sort of. And then uh, we have uh, Eight Ball Kush behind that from Barney's Farm. Next row down on there, we have um, uh, Reserva Pravada, the OG, the number 18. And then in the back row, um, I was uh, I had a nitrogen deficiency in my face off OG, but I still took clones anyway. And all the tops are nice and lush green now. Um, but the bottom leaves, as you can see, are a little bit yellow. <clears throat> no worries, they're just uh, they'll be fine. There's no uh, there's no issues, and it's 12 days, and I see roots. So I'm happy. There's the first minute of what's coming up next. So there's the next set of videos for you. OG18 is in there. All right, let's um let's focus on a little issue here also. Um, nutrients I'm giving all general hydroponics three part. Um, these are getting full strength uh, veg newts now. Um, three part flora blend is added also with um, you know some more humic acids and stuff. Um, but three parts fine if you have it. Uh, I recommend it. This is a uh, OG the number 18 um, She has four tops The four bottom well Second set of branches down. I guess you could say first set are down here and Second set not too much stretch. It's a very nice plant um, <clears throat> It will be kept and We're also going to talk about issues on my strawberry delight, which is not a beginner strain. This one is for uh, advanced growers I would say I like to think of myself as a fairly advanced, not an expert or nothing by any means. Just an advanced grower, you know, I've been doing it for a while and I do hydro, so that's, you know, not not simple, I don't think. But it's got powdery mildew spots, as you can see. It's, we're, we're, treating, um, we're treating her with a, um, a sulfur pot, and she's still very happy, as you can see. Um, all my plants are fairly happy. Um, it's just, yeah, 22% humidity. Matter of fact, 23 now. And just in case this one was malfunctioning, my other one, 23. So, um, across the board, 23% humidity. My lips are dry and I'm chapped, yet my plants have, well, plant, singular, has powdery mildew. Um, but she's being treated and it's not a big deal. At least it's not bugs. So, And the other plants are not affected at all. I've gone through them. There's no issues. It's a, it's a lovely green leaf. Nice. So, all right, let's move on. <clears throat> and uh, obviously, I forgot to mention um, Vanilla Kush, just fine. She's almost about two feet tall now. Um, I really want, don't want to keep her, so I'll accept a $60 donation if someone's in the Riverside area. If you're a patient, I will verify you and all that good stuff. I just don't want to keep her. I don't have the room for what I want to have. Um, I'm just going to be keeping these two, and I'll deal with this one, no big deal. This one's going to go to a buddy, because, um, it grows pretty fast, and you can throw it into 12-12 right away, so, eh, maybe, mm, Kush Plant 12-12, people might like it, I don't know. But we're saving it. Never throw away plants. All right, let me move up on in my veg uh, flower room, I should say. And my water is on. That's cool. Let me just move this strawberry delight out the way without hitting the fan. Let me make sure it's cool. All right, cool. Let me see if I can get in here. All right. Oh, shit. All right. I have just uh, crawled up in the corner over here. <sighs> wow. And there's the sulfur pot. I have it hung up in here right now. It's just, uh, just to keep it out the way. But it goes in the veg tent every other day um, for that one plant. And let's see, there she is. Big cola on the strawberry delight. All the way down too, wow. Six inches at least. And then um, <clears throat> other dirt plant, we have uh, Barney's Farm, Vanilla Kush. Uh, some of the leaves have been damaged by the fan blowing on it constantly when it was younger. Uh, and it's a little bit dry on those tips, obviously, because the low humidity. And very odd, very odd, but the humidity rises when the CO2 comes on and it gets about perfect in here. And let's see, guava number one, some skunk number one. 
this is a uh, sleepy time this is a private strain um, the name sleepy time so you can kind of tell what that one does it's a very very high CBD content plant um, it's custom grown uh, made by my buddy Zandor the growreport.com he created that strain um, anyway let's move on face off OG Kush um, leaves got a little fucked up now it was glistening but <laughs> not so much anymore they're starting to dry out up top but whatever and strawberry delight big old top nice top and duh, 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 duh. more strawberry delights which are looking great let's see face off OG everybody knows OG plants right here it is Stretchy popcorn buds into a big ass top cluster. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> anyway, um, got to put a stake back here. My chronic plants are falling over. It's a little sensitive to my nutrients, but we've already backed off. It's just you can't fix the leaves once they're gone. And face off OG. So, this pretty much is the garden this week. Um, this is day one of week seven. And I just wanted to take a quick update. Um, I know some of my leaves look damaged, uh, but that's just the leaf tips in the corners. It's nothing to do with the buds. So something I got to deal with in the next run, just go lighter on my nutrients even more. Fucking sensitive plants. I don't get it. Barely taking a thousand parts per million in hydro with everything. So whatever. All right, guys. Peace out and grow your own.